I don't know. He's questionable. questionable. So we'll, we'll have to make an announcement here in the next day. We don't know yet. Questionable. Coach, you talked at some length on Wednesday about the Vontes Perfect incident. There's clearly a lot of feeling within the group here from what we've heard over the last two days. Is there a sense that this could actually add as um, work as a lightning rod and, and bring this group together? I'm not going to comment about Perfect right now. You know how I feel. And uh, hopefully the league is uh, – going to look at every aspect uh, of the situation and we'll get it resolved. But uh, he, he leaves big shoes that need to be filled. Hey, John, uh, what happened to uh, J.J. last week? What's his status this week for J.J. Nelson? He's uh, questionable also. Just uh, got a leg injury. And um, he's up and down, as you know, throughout the uh, last several weeks. Hey, Coach. George from the X's and O's team here. Uh, as a player myself, um, with different levels of, of coaching that I've had, how important would you say is would you say player coach chemistry is on and off the field? And can I get a knock on wood if you're with me? Yeah, man. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> that's a good question nice. there. I love that. Uh, yeah, I think it's big. You know, that's the beautiful thing about not having home games for eight weeks. We get a chance to be together, spend time together. I've always felt the only way you, you get a relationship is spend time with someone. And we've, we've added some high-character guys, guys that actually love football, love preparation, and, and just are genuine uh, high-character people that are fun to be around. So uh, we got a great locker room culture going. It's a credit to our coaches and our veteran leadership and uh, Mike Mayock for the guys brought, he's brought in here. Appreciate it, Coach. Thank you very much. You guys did a nice job of uh, protecting the quarterback in the opener against the Broncos with, with Von Miller and Chubb. Can you replicate that against uh, Khalil Mack? And is it just – is it as simple as getting the ball out real quick? Well, it's going to be a great challenge. And uh, we're anxious to compete. We'll see where we are. And we've had some good protection snaps, and they've had some great rushes. So, um, that's why we play the game. Coach, how do you come back to the time zone difference between West Coast and West London? And is there enough time to prepare for a match day? Yeah, it's been wonderful. We, uh, we've had a great uh, acclimation here to the time zone. And uh, the hotel setup is great. The practice field sensational. And um, we're not going to have any uh, negative impact on our performance because of the time zone. We'll be ready to go. Coach, you seem to love football a huge amount. Why should the British people fall in love with those? <laughs> well, there's a lot to love over here, too. They have their own football. I met one of the great coaches here yesterday. Um, you know, I think it's neat to come over here and uh, show something that's very popular in America. We're proud of our sport. And um, we're learning about some of the things they like over here. So uh, hopefully the fans come out, really have a great evening, and um, enjoy the game. Coach, apart from London, is there any chance that the NFL might go to other, other cities in Europe? You'd have to ask the commissioner of that. That's out of my, uh, out of my league. Do you play for? I don't mind playing over here. I don't mind playing. And we've played in uh, Winnipeg, Canada. We're playing here in London. All our home games are all over the world. <laughs> we're a global franchise. Coach, um, given the, the state of the, of the uh, wideout core, how, how vital is it going to be for your tight ends, you know, Foster and, 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 and Darren to be involved in the uh, passing game and give you some uh, stability there? I don't know. I mean, we'll see how the game goes. We've got running backs that can catch. We've got other receivers that are good players. We're not going to throw the ball to, uh, to all the tight ends and backs because a couple guys are hurt. We've got capable players. We'll see who's available, and we'll use who is available. Coach, when you studied the tape on this Bears defense, particularly in the run game, um, knowing you want to run the football, what, what do you see there, and, and how, how to attack it maybe on Sunday? Well, you see the same thing everybody else sees. It's, it's, they have a great rusher everybody talks about. Um, and the reason they're great rushers is they get a lot of at-bats because no one's been able to run the ball. Uh, Goldman, no one even talks about him like he's not even on the defense. He's the best inside run defender I have seen this year. Uh, Hicks, uh, goodness gracious. I don't know who this number 95 is, but they have a rotation in there that is very good. And their linebackers, Trevathan is a world champion, every down buzzsaw. He's got great instincts. And if you get a hole, he recovers and makes the tackle immediately. And Roquan Smith, is uh, he's a top 10 pick also. Uh, so, good luck. It'll be a real challenge running the ball, but we're, we're a good running team, and we get a chance to see where we stack up. <laughs>
with all that in mind, what you've just said, Coach, does that affect your game plan for Sunday in terms of getting the ball out a little bit quicker to try and stifle the pass rush? Well, we're going to try to have balance. We had balance last week against Indianapolis. We won the game. We had balance against the Broncos. We won that game. We need balance to, to win. So we're going to try to run and pass and try to be a little bit unpredictable at times and uh, see what happens. Let's do two more questions, guys. Two more. Coach, the Raiders are seeking their first um, win in London after two attempts, unsuccessful attempts. Do you, do you think this is the kind of pressure you don't want, or do you think this actually motivates your players to do better? <laughs> well, I don't know about that. I, I don't think that deep into it. We just want to win the game. You know, we worked hard, so we'll leave it at that.